So now that you have the basic idea of how we're going to identify a labral tear by history, the physical examination is primarily a focused examination trying to pinch the labrum uh, uh, in the ball and socket joint. So you have the acetabulum, we have the, the, the head of the femur, uh, and the bumper around the outside edge of the acetabulum is the labrum. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to move the hip around, trying to catch the edge of the labrum as I move the hip uh, through a, a full range of motion. We can start simply by doing a log rolling test, but that really doesn't pinch the labrum as well as we need. What we really want to do is start getting him, in, putting him through extremes of range of motion, and to do this, I'm going to actually hold his leg in my arm. This actually frees up one hand that I can put down in and about his groin so that I can actually feel the click or the pop occur as I place him through a range of motion. First, I'll just do some extremes of internal and external rotation. And then I'm actually going to bring him all the way up into flexion. As I flex and internally rotate, this should actually pinch the anterior superior labrum against the, the femoral neck. As then I'll bring him out into external rotation. My hand is still in and, in and around his groin to see if I can feel a snapping pain. And if I can't, then I don't feel a, a positive finding of a, a labral tear. Posteriorly, we can actually do the same thing. Now I'm going to drop him down into internal rotation. I'm going to actually try to pinch the posterior aspect of his labrum as I, I come from internal rotation and try to pull the pelvis all the way out into external rotation. This, la this last part can sometimes be done better from a lateral position, so I'm going to have you roll away from me, please. And now I can actually grab a hold of his hip, and I can bring him way into full extension, and then I can internally and externally rotate and try to actually trap the labrum between that ball and socket as I move him through this full range of motion. If he has a click and a pop, then it's a positive finding of a labral tear. Now, the final thing is, is if I feel clicking and popping, clearly, as a very suspicious sign, I probably do have an internal impingement or, uh, uh, or some type of a labral tear. These are very difficult to, to diagnose. Sometimes people can be missed for a long period of time. If you have groin pain, it hasn't resolved, it's probably a reasonable consideration to go and proceed with an MR arthrogram to look for even an unrecognized labral tear in some of these athletes.